So this is a, a kind of scary looking case because it's got the kind of architecture of a intradermal nevus. There's actually a, some junctional component over top, but most of the cells are intradermal and they're kind of like trickling between collagen in a very benign pattern, but they've got large hyperchromatic, really dark nuclei, but other areas that look like a regular nevus. So when we see the, this, usually we see these as just scattered occasional random atypia in an otherwise normal nevus, but sometimes it can be more pr pronounced like here, which can be kind of scary. So this has been called ancient change in a nevus. The idea being that this is, uh, the nevus has been around so long that the cells have gotten old and kind of gotten degenerative nuclear atypia. I honestly have no idea if a time that a lesion has existed really causes this change, but it's been used elsewhere in pathology, like for schwannomas that get this similar kind of hyperchromatic pleomorphic cells, but no mitoses or other atypical features. So if you stain this, it would have very low key 67. It would be probably negative on prame, et cetera. I do feel like it could be more concerning in a lesion like this, where so many of the cells have that, but we see this kind of, this kind of random really dark, hyperchromatic, smudgy nuclear chromatin atypia in normal nevi all the time and just disregard it. So it can be more pronounced, but this is called ancient change. And this this kind of idea of degenerative nuclear atypia, sometimes in, in certain settings in pathology is also called symplastic change. Symplastic, S-Y-M, plastic, um, is the same kind of idea as, as atypia, but in a benign lesion, like a benign type of nuclear atypia. So you can do some more reading about ancient nevus if you want, but nevus with ancient change is a benign, but kind of scary looking. The one thing that does help me here is we don't have any melanoma in situ over it, and it is extremely rare, uh, vanishingly rare to have melanoma arise as a dermal only thing. Metastatic melanoma does that. Melanoma where the in situ has ulcerated or regressed can have only stuff in the dermis, but a melanoma arising de novo in the dermis is exceptionally rare. And some people argue it doesn't exist, but that's outside the scope of this lecture.